happy Monday everybody. So this is my final placement vlog. Today is Monday. By the time you're watching this, I will be signed off to be a nurse. Fingers crossed. So that is me home from my Monday. That's my last ever Monday finished with. I have got the dinner on. It's only about half five, I think, really early. Um, I'm going to settle down for the night, get ready for I'm a Celebrity. If anyone's watching it, comment below. <laughs> I love I'm a Celebrity. It's so good. Oh, I don't know how these people do it. Anyway, moving on. So today on placement, we I literally haven't really got anything new to say. We had a mixture of clinics and then we went out to some home visits. We had a whole mixture of different types of wounds today. Actually, I think it was all wounds today that we had. Yeah, I know, all wounds which is great for me. There was a period where my mentor had to sort out a lot of paperwork sort of stuff. So while she did that, I sat and I wrote out in my book, wound management plans and what everything means and terminology and different types of dressings to which type of wound, because I'm going to be making some flashcards for myself. So I'm going to laminate them. So I've always got them there ready for me when I start my new job in January because I don't want to be uh, struggling and wondering oh my god what am I going to put on what's the best thing for this wound it's going to be there it's going to be ready I can't wait apart from that that's it really it's been a pretty chilled day it's been a lovely Monday tomorrow I don't know what we're doing tomorrow so that is it for me I'm not going to waffle on any longer because the video will be a million years long so I shall see you all tomorrow Happy hump day everybody! So today is Wednesday, I'm finished for the day. I got to finish a little bit earlier because we finished late yesterday. So today we had a few patients. We had some wound care, we had some palliative support patients that we had to go to, we had some phone calls that we had to make, prescriptions to write. Nothing really out of the ordinary that I can say. Oh, I did, I did a nephrostomy bag and it was a different type of nephrostomy bag. I haven't seen this one, but it's one that attaches here and then it comes round and sits on the stomach rather than having a leg bag. So that was really interesting. And I got, and the patient said to me that this week he was told that he has to change it himself and I just have to sort of monitor him and make sure he's doing it right and educate him on it. And he did amazing. So I was really happy with that. I was like, yes, go on, you can be discharged to do your nephrostomy bag yourself. Amazing. So that was really, really nice to do that. What else happened? Oh, when I arrived on placement, so I get there a little bit earlier, usually between 20 to 9 and 10 to 9. I don't start till 9. And um, we always have one patient that comes in really, really early for, for their appointment. Their appointments are not till 9, but they're always there about quarter to 9 most days. So today when I was going in the lift up to second floor to the office where we are based, it stops at the first floor and then up to our floor. So when it stopped on first floor, when the doors open, it faces all the waiting room chairs so that you can see the patients. So I went up and the doors opened and he was there waiting. It was 10 to 8 at this time, 10 to 9, sorry. It was 10 to 9 at this time. And he was there and he was like, Hi Claire, like waving at me. I was like, oh, that's so cute. Like it was just so, so nice. Like it proper made me like well up a little bit because it was just so nice that that's my patient. That's the guy that I've been looking after. I've been doing his leg and he remembers me and he was genuinely like excited to see me. And oh, it just made my day. It really, really did make my day. Like these little tiny things, patients don't understand. These little tiny things mean massive amounts. Like that's made my whole week. <laughs> But I was so chuffed and I went into the bathroom and I was welling up a little bit. I was like, oh my God, that was so lovely. Like my heart and everything. <sighs> well, you can see it now. I'm welling up now and I'm <sighs> just thinking about it. But yeah, it just uh, made my day. It was so lovely. I just love it. I love this job. I love the fact that I'm going to be a nurse and get this amount of satisfaction, I <laughs> can't even speak because I'm so excited, this amount of satisfaction every day is amazing. So that's it. I've got two days left, guys. Two shifts. Oh my God. I'm with my mentor tomorrow. I think she said she's going to look at my book, but we'll see if she does or not. If not, I'll be signed off on Friday officially. So yeah, let's just see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully it's going to be a good day again. And for now, I'm going to make my dinner. So see you all tomorrow. Today is the eve of my final ever, ever, ever shift. 
as a student nurse. Oh my God. So today's Thursday. Oh, I've had an amazing day. As always, we've had a really nice day. It's been like a busy study. Like it's been nice. <laughs> it's been lovely. We had a mixture of clinic and um, home visits again. We've had lovely, lovely patients. They've all been amazing. Oh, I've just had a lovely day. My mentor has done like my final interview, but because she's not an official sign off mentor, she can't do my actual last sign off page today. So the other big boss who I loved bits is going to do it tomorrow for me. So I've left it on her desk to see first thing when she gets in at about eight, half eight, I think she gets in and um, it's been put in the diary in big letters and highlighted for her to sign me off tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, I'll roll on tomorrow. So me and Deb, the other student, have been trying to organise, getting a load of food for everybody, buying in lunch and cakes and sweets and all the rubbish that you shouldn't be eating, but we do it anyway, um, to celebrate. So as me and Debbie have been talking about it, everyone else has been piping in going, oh, we'll bring in this, we'll bring in this. Oh, don't worry, we'll get this. You shouldn't be getting it because you're students. But no, we just want to say thank you. So we really want to get lunch for everybody. So now I've left it with them. Everybody wants to maybe order Domino's or something for lunch. So I don't know what we're doing now. <laughs> Waiting for a text message from my mentor to say, we're going to order Domino's or we're going to order snacks. I've left it in their hands and then tomorrow we shall have a little mini party little celebration hopefully it's gonna be amazing i'm so excited for tomorrow i can't wait i will be vlogging all about it of course and i shall yeah let you all know how it goes but i'm gonna shut up for now and i'll see you all tomorrow i'm really excited guys i don't know if i'm gonna sleep tonight but i'm really excited <sighs> see you tomorrow that's it guys today is my last day last morning saying good morning student nurse claire carmichael because i'm gonna be signed off just walking now to the post office to get my mentor's present because i haven't picked it up yet oh my god haven't had a chance so um i'm just doing it now and then i've got to wrap it in the toilet or something so she doesn't see <laughs> wish me luck guys i made it so i've just arrived i've got my present i'm gonna have to hide the name That's my mentor's name there. Yes. So I just need to wrap it and then go into the office. I need to get changed as well. So here's to an amazing day. I'll see you all later because later I will be qualified or signed off at least to go onto the register to the NMC to become a newly qualified nurse. <laughs> Today is going to be awesome. I'm a qualified nurse. <laughs> signed off i've been signed off i'm officially qualified ready to go on the nmc register to be an official qualified registered nurse i've done it i've done it guys oh my god oh, i'm so happy so oh i don't even know where to begin so today has been the best it's been so lovely it's been proper chilled we've had nice lovely patients we've had such a lovely day um, myself and the other student brought in a load of lunch for everybody um, and oh, we had a feast. I will put the picture here for you so you can see what a feast we had. We overbought, overspent and then a couple of other people bought in some cakes as well and stuff. Oh, how lovely and I got my first ever, first ever present. Look, I mean I'm not condoning alcohol or drinking but I got a bottle of bubbly. I'm definitely opening this tonight and having a little cheeky drink not too much because i've got a shift tomorrow i know bank shift tomorrow to earn some money because i'm poor also with the prosecco i got a couple of cards which i haven't actually opened yet i'm gonna open them now i haven't opened my cards and i haven't read my last feedback because i left the nurse to just do it on her own because it must be really awkward to have someone just staring at you oh congratulations oh my god there's loads in here Oh, to Claire, aka staff nurse Carmichael. Oh, congratulations on passing your nursing degree with flying colours. Oh. Our team has appreciated your help. Over the past 12 weeks, we don't want to let you go. You're a fantastic nurse, kind, assertive and a true team player. been an excellent role model 
and a lovely student nurse. Oh, oh you've been an excellent role model to our other lovely student nurse. Our next management the student will have big shoes to fill. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, on a personal note, I really appreciate all your help. Your professionalism shines through everything you do. Good luck. Get ready for your blues. Please keep in touch. We know you will go far. <sighs> That's so lovely. I didn't even realise she got me a card. Oh, oh, why have I chose to do this? And this is from my main mentor, Tuka. Um, congr congratulations, completing your nursing degree. You'll make an amazing nurse. You're such a lovely person. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Why? Tears of joy. Okay, let's go through my feedback. So here we go. Claire has been professional during her time with the team. Claire has been very motivated throughout her placement. Claire's kept excellent time and um, keeping during her placement. Oh, I'm so sorry. Like my nose and everything is just running. I should get a tissue. This is disgusting. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, patients. I've commented how Claire has maintained their privacy and dignity. Um, Claire has shown herself to be polite, courteous and respectful to team and patients, interacts well with the team, has been able to respond appropriately to social situations, been able to refer to patients to other professional services appropriately, feedback during handover to the team about family, um, service users, carers, all of that. Um, during visits to new patients, Claire has always introduced herself and put them at ease. Um, Claire has, Claire has delivered, Claire has delivered with remit and showed excellent care, um, empathy and compassion. Claire has always shown empathy and compassion when delivering care. Um, as demonstrated in booklet, Claire has always applied theory to practice. Claire has shown kindness and compassion to colleagues as well as patients. Claire has shown gentleness approach throughout her placement, has shown to be very organized, works well with all team members, um, has been able to plan her learning needs, her own learning needs, because we have to show that we can do that. Claire has had a very positive feedback from family patients about care, always explained the care to the given to the patients prior to treatment. Claire has been an excellent student and has shown that she'll be a very good nurse. Oh, that's just like the overall, um, like the professional values and stuff like that, that they have to make comments on. Oh, so that's it. It's all done. Oh, I can stop crying now. Oh, that card had me. Oh my God. God's sakes, I thought I was okay. I came out of placement, I finished. Like it was an amazing send off. Like we had our lunch spread and then someone said, please let the students go because it's their last day. And we were like, I mean, I don't mind. I will stay here till 8 p.m. But oh, they let us go. So um, we all went round, we hugged everybody, said goodbye. It was all a bit emotional. Um, and when I went, I went to the toilet to get changed and I just had a little sob to myself in the toilet. Cause I was just like, it was like a relief. Like it had all just come out. I was like, oh, I'm done. I'm graduated. And then I was okay. And then I was okay walking home. And I thought I'll do a little vlog now. Cause I'm okay now. And this card, thank you nurse who I shall not mention, but they know who they are if they ever find my vlogs. <laughs> um, oh, that was such a nice card. Proper made me cry that. Oh God. Anyway, so yeah, so that's it. I'm done guys. I'm officially finished. Nurse Carmichael is coming at you. God help you all. Oh my God. So what's next for me? That is the next question. So I am, um, doing some bank shifts. I'm going to do some bank shifts over the next couple of weeks as a HCA. Sorry guys, I've had to add a little bit in here. So I look different because I've showered and everything. And so, oh my God, I haven't told them about next week. So on Monday we have our grad ball, which I'll be vlogging all about. And then we have our newly qualified nurse day at university, like a, an official celebration day, which I will vlog everything. So that'll be next Sunday's vlog. Okay, back to the video. Thanks. Um, and then on, oh, I haven't told everybody yet. Do I say it yet? Do I tell you all? 
some of you know actually someone some of you that watch this with these vlogs some of you that i know and i message and stuff on social media will already know this information but some of you will not know this information because i haven't put it out there publicly yet so yeah i'm moving i'm not going to be in birmingham anymore i'm moving to portsmouth i'm moving down south i'm gonna be by the sea i'm gonna have a great life it's gonna be fantastic so i actually got offered my newly qualified post down in portsmouth and i'm taking it and that's where i'm gonna be based so yeah anyone that's down south portsmouth southampton give me a wave say hello i need more friends down south <laughs> yeah so a couple of the guys and girls at the student nurse project live down there so i'm going to be so excited to meet them and i'm going to have to vlog about it so this is going to be a great it's going to be amazing i'm not going to stop vlogging i'm going to keep on vlogging i'm going to show you my transition to newly qualified nurse how i'm getting on all of that jazz um and I'm gonna vlog as much as I can, as possible, as long as I'm able to, I'm gonna vlog. And then what else have I got planned? So doing bank shifts, moving on the 15th of December down to Portsmouth for my new job. Sorry, I'm really excited. Um, but I don't actually start my job until the 6th of January, just because throughout December, technically we're still employed by Birmingham City University. So we're not allowed to go out there and work full time as a nurse and also I need to wait for my pin and yeah everyone gets funny about these things so I've put it off I'm gonna wait until January when I know I'll have my pin I'll know I'll be a fully registered nurse safe to practice so I'm gonna do that and I'm off for two weeks over Christmas and New Year. So for two weeks over Christmas and New Year, I'm not gonna vlog guys, I know. I go away, I think it's on the 21st of December we go. So I'm going away, I don't know where we're going. It's a complete surprise. I think I will vlog the um, hol the journey, holiday, all of that, because I have no idea where we're gonna go. So it'll be a surprise and I think that'll be really exciting to have a little vlog on. So I will upload that first week of January when we come back. Um, but before then, so over these next two weeks, I will still vlog. I've just got uh, four books. I think I shared this on my Instagram story. I don't think I've done a vlog about it. Oh my God, this video is already 10 minutes long. I'm really sorry, guys. I go on and on. But yes, anyway, so Sage Publishing have gave me four books to review. And I'm going to review those books. They are nursing related books absolutely amazing they are on the way to my house right now as we speak so i think i'm going to do one or two a week maybe one a week i don't know how i'm going to work it out maybe two a week two next week two the week after maybe anyway i will i'll work it out but that's what i'm going to be doing for the next couple of weeks and any other vlogs that i need to catch up on because i have been busy and i haven't done all of the vlogs that i need to do so i'm going to do those um and that's it really and obviously i will vlog anything newly qualified related like the build-up signing my contract trying on my uniform everything is going to be vlogged of course so that you all can all hopefully get excited with me but i just wanted to say a massive massive thank you to all of you who've been following my journey from the start and all of you that have just started following my journey thank you so so much because i've had the best amount of support from you all and do you know what your words your motivating words have just kept me going so thank you so so much for that um, some of you i know are having a tough time at the minute i know you're struggling with exams assignments your first placement you're really struggling i've seen that somebody's left nursing and they've decided to become a midwife which is amazing they're still in the profession yes but if any of you are struggling i it is hard it is tough i can't say that it's 100 percent easy because it's not I've just been very, very fortunate and very lucky that my journey has been incredible and I've loved every second of it. But my first placement, I've talked about it before, I hated it. I almost quit nursing because I didn't want to be a nurse and all of that. But just keep going, guys. Remind yourself why you've become a nurse. Remind yourself you don't have to work there. Remind yourself daily, only eight weeks left to go, eight, seven weeks to go, six weeks to go, five weeks. Count it down. Keep yourself on target. Keep focused at the end result. Just keep going because I promise you it is worth it for this final moment when you're at the end and you get signed off. And it's like, yes, I've completed a degree, which I never thought I would ever do. Never thought I was smart enough. And here I am, qualified finished so chopped oh so yeah so that's it um but yeah i just wanted to leave that last little 
positivity hopefully for you keep going you will get there it is going to be tough some days it's going to be amazing other days the roller coaster is like this all the way through three years but do you know what you'll do it and you'll get through it because you're going to be amazing fantastic nurses and you're doing this because you love it and every day is a pleasure even when you have the tough days so keep going keep focused if you need a bit of motivation inbox me anytime anywhere any day wherever on social media inbox me you're not a pest you're not a hassle please i would love to give you some words of wisdom motivation a kick up the backside if that's what you need please 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 let me do that for you because oh, it's just it's gonna be worth it in the end guys it's gonna be worth it i'm gonna shut up now okay so that is it from me I'm a qualified nurse, so now in my vlogs it's going to be Hi, my name is Claire Carmichael, I'm a qualified nurse <laughs> It's not going to get boring at all oh. Anyway, see you later